Hey guys, it's me Delta One, and you're probably really tired of me spamming this channel today. But uh, I need to make this video because I've gotten this question like so many times today, and uh, I figured that this video is much needed after having this question asked me so many times. By the way, I'm buying a new webcam; it should be coming in by the end of the week. Anywho, um, people have asked me, should I get, what should I get for my first gun? And normally the first thing they always tell me is, you know, should I get a GNG combat machine or a GNG Raider or a GNG this, 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 or this, 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 and this. And if you want my honest opinion, you don't find this offensive because I mean no harm by it. And this is just my opinion. And I'm not saying I'm right or I'm wrong or you're wrong or you're right. But... I work on 10 times more GNGs than I do almost any other gun. Any other gun. And no, that's not because they sell a lot of them. It's because they aren't made very well at all. I, I've spoken to multiple technicians where they've had problems where the bevel gear disguised, where his friend's bevel gear by the shim broke something, and it, the bevel gear ran sideways. So much for Taiwanese quality. I mean, come on, people. I, I've talked to people who ran JGs for like three years before they died. Like, and I've talked to more than just like one or two or three or four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten p people that have done this before. Not really ten people, but I've talked to, I've heard multiple people telling me JGs are fantastic. And you know what, guys? They are, and I haven't stretched this out far enough yet in videos, but I know JG gears are XYT gears. They're fantastic. They last forever if you install them properly with the corrected shimming and angle of engagement to your piston. Now, JGs are actually fantastic rifles. Now, for the people who are going to tell me that they are not that good, please listen. JGs are probably some of the best guns. If not, they are the best gun that you can buy for the money. Now, when I say for the money, don't say think that I'm saying that it is the best gun period ever that you could buy. It's better than every other company. No, wrong. Incorrect. But are they the best money? It's the best gun for the money, period. Because all you realistically need to do, shim them. Angle of engagement. Regrease. Put a sorbethane buffer in it. Which is a little plastic shock buffer thing you put on your cylinder head. And, you know, just do proper and basic maintenance, and they will last you forever. And this does go with pretty much any gun. But JGs especially, because their gears are fine, their motors are even just ridiculous. I know a person by the name of Major Nine, um, which is a technician, who ran his AK in 98 RPS with a non-ridiculously... He didn't even do much to his JG motor to get it to do that. I mean, a JG motor, a blue JG motor, 98 RPS. You know how much those motors go for? You can pick them up overseas for like 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Do you see Sistema motors hitting 98 RPS? No, you don't. Sistema motors are actually pretty overrated in my opinion. But seriously, if you're going to get a good gun, a good beginner gun, and you've got like 250 bucks, I've had people tell me for the 250 bucks for a beginner gun, go buy a JG and just pay someone to do basic maintenance on it. Just, you know, tell them to do correct angle of engagement, reshim it, relubricate it, you know, rewire it, do something. If you've got money to spend on a GNG, Go buy a JG and have like basic maintenance done to it, and then it'll be fine. I've even I've had people use stock JGs forever, and you could disagree with me all you want, but this is coming from personal experience. And I literally I would stand by a JG over a GMP. Like I would pretty much almost tell you <laughs> a JG would probably almost outlast a GMP in terms of lifespan before part breaks. Now, I know there is, that's a very bit far to stretch, and I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for it, but seriously, GMPs have a problem where they break the bevel gears all the time, and their pistons are seriously like a hit and miss. Their pinion gears, hit and miss. There's a lot of hit and miss in a GMP gearbox. Now, it same goes for GMP. If you do fine tuning in them, they're fine. But... Now, for the people who are going to argue with me, I got JG and broke it a day. It's Chinese. You're going to have lemons. But it, that's what warranties are for. You send the shit back. That's what you do. Now, there may be small other problems, but, like, seriously, if you have, like, a hop-up issue, the most expensive thing it's going to be is a new hop-up. And that's, like, what, 12, maybe 20 bucks? 20 bucks shipped? But seriously, 
JG is a good company. Use them, especially their M4s. Their AKs, not they're not really bad, but they're not the best thing in the world. Their G36s are they're pretty good too. Got to use your basic maintenance there. But JG in general is a fantastic company, in my opinion. I hope this helped you pick out your first gun. So that's pretty much it. Seam was good too. And D Boys, their M4s are just terrible, except for the PW. Their AKs, as long as they're the RK01, or not the RK01, but the WS models, those are fine too. But remember, almost any Chinese clone, you're gonna have to do basic maintenance. But if you have the capabilities of fording one of those and having a little, like, basic tune up in it, not by like an upgrade, but just, you know, correct angle of engagement, you know, fix, like, if it has, you know, just reshim, relubricate, sort of thing, buffer, all of that. Do that to your gun, and it will just last. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.